If anyone says to you, look, here's the Christ or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. There's a man in Western Kenya who says he's the real Jesus Christ and apparently over 1 million people believe him. The YouTube channel Drew Binksy posted a video where he traveled to Kenya and found this supposed second coming of Jesus Christ and the whole thing is really very strange. This man claims he's the real Jesus and everyone around him thinks it's true. Hey! 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 Is he the real Jesus? He's the real Jesus. I like Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Bible warned us that false Christs and false prophets would come, so this is no surprise and shouldn't be to anyone. There's a lot of other things that he does that the Bible exposes as well that we'll look into. Here's an article here that shows seven other men around the world who claim to be Jesus Christ. So this is exactly why God warned us in prophecy that this would come. Not only does this guy claim to be Jesus Christ and many people are believing it. This is not a joke. You know, I'm taking it very seriously. Not being, I just feel the emotion on the people when they're bowing down to Jesus one by one. I'm not. Hey. Look at all these people looking at you, man. How do you feel? They love me. I feel happy. It's good. But he's even appointed prophets to his inner circle who claim they are the true biblical prophets that we've all read about. And now he's introducing all I'm of his not. prophets. Wait. I am Prophet Benjamin. Prophet Solomon. I'm Angel Lawi. I'm Prophet Ube. I'm Angel Noah, the build of the ark. There's probably hundreds of verses that we could look at to prove that this man is not the true second coming of Jesus Christ, but here's just a few. Many false Christs would come into the world. The beginning of the Great Tribulation will start. A declaration of the gospel to the whole world will have to happen. Probably the greatest biblical reference of the second coming of Jesus Christ showing it's a worldwide event and that it will not be mistaken for just random people is Matthew 24, 29 through 30. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. When they asked this false Christ how he knew he was Jesus Christ's second coming, he gave a very interesting answer. When did you first realize that you're Jesus? He was at school when he was 10 years old and he felt he needed to draw a picture of the cross. So when he was drawing the cross, he felt like he left the world. And the voice of the Lord told him, you are my son. When he was 12 years old, he was visited by thousands and thousands of angels at three in the morning. And when they came here, they said, hi, son of God. And one of them said, I am angel Gabriel. When he left, another one came and said, he's angel Raphael. When angel Miriam got there, she told him not to fear because he's doing the Lord's work. The reason this is interesting, because just like the warning of the opening verse in this video warned us of false Christ, God gave us a warning in another part of scripture to not trust angel encounters if they teach a different gospel. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. It's funny because Islam was also created based off a false angel encounter that Muhammad supposedly had with the angel Gabriel, but it taught a different gospel than the original source, the Bible. In a cave above Mecca, Muhammad had an experience that would be the defining moment of his life. An angel was said to appear before him in the form of a man, instructing him to recite in the name of God, the Almighty. This is why it's so important to be regularly studying and reading your Bible. It warns us of these deceptions. Some of the people who believe that this man is the second coming of Jesus Christ claim that he's done miracles. I was feeling very ill. I was very, very sick. I had moved over the hospitals. I've been taken to several hospitals. I was in a coma for almost a month. The moment I was brought here, Jesus prayed. Then he prayed for me. That very day I woke up and I was okay. Because what he has done for me, it is marvelous. And our neighborhood here are sick. 
they always run at his place so that he pray for them and they get well. Have you done that? Yeah. And he makes you feel better? Yes, he prays for us. Really? Yeah. I imagine this man isn't performing any miracles at all, but it is worth pointing out that in the end times, the Bible tells us that Satan will perform miracles through his own power. Prophecy tells us the man of lawlessness will come with all power, signs, and lying wonders. The book of Revelation prophesies that the Antichrist will get a deadly head wound and then be healed of it. I point these things out because we're coming to a time in the earth where you may not even be able to believe what you see with your own eyes. Not all power, signs, wonders, and miracles will be from God. There's a lot of deception going on right now in the Christian churches in Africa. A culture who's open to the supernatural and superstitions has led many people to follow these false prophets who are clearly lying for financial gain. There's really countless cases of this going on, but here's just a few to briefly point out. Here we can see a false pastor walking on the air, supposedly. Of course, you can't see what's on top of him. Right when he's by the stairs, he's being held up by a harness. Or here is a man being raised from the dead who is clearly already alive in the casket. Rise up! Yes. Come on! This pastor here claims to receive a picture from God of a man's child on an iPad. When you look closely, you can see that he's clearly double tapping on the gallery selection to pull up the picture of this man's child on the iPad. Who has an iPad? An iPad. Can I use this iPad and the capture? Should I use it? Should I capture the picture? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. God knew these false messiahs, false prophets, and false teachers would come into the world. This is exactly why after the verse following the warning about this, Jesus said, See, I have told you beforehand. It's so important to be in the Word of God, studying the Bible daily. You want to read it and show yourself approved and live according to what it says. Jesus warned us, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, will enter into heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father will enter into heaven. Study your Bible, live for God, obey his word, and he will guide you in these very deceptive times that we are heading into. I hope and pray you're well. Thanks for watching and God bless. Is he the real Jesus Christ? Yes, he's the real Jesus I've ever met. He's the same Jesus who was there, and he has come back now. He's the real Jesus Christ. If you could give one message to everyone in the world, what would you tell them? I would like to tell them that I'm now back.